Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I would share with you my squishy toy eraser and candy vending machine. Um, I'll show you the mechanism behind it and how it works. So a quick overview of it. In the front, there's a prize sign. Here's the clear area where you can see what's inside the vending machine. I use a ran wrap for the front, but you can definitely use plastic. It'd probably look better if you use plastic. Here is the coin area where you put in the 25 cents and you can get your prize. Um, if it's not 25 cents, it gets rejected here. Here is the push and pull button where you can push and pull and then your prize will come out here. On the top here, there's also a refill area where you can dump in the prizes and the back's also open for the mechanism. So first I'll put in a penny. and it gets rejected because it's not 25 cents. Then I will put in the nickel. And it gets rejected. And if you put in a quarter, then it won't get rejected. It goes straight through. And now once you've put in the quarter, what you can do now is just push and pull and then your prize will come out. And here I got a squishy, a panda. If I insert another quarter, I can get another prize. And there's nothing here. And then you push and pull this to receive your prize. Here I got a ramen eraser an Awako eraser. Okay, so here's the back of the vending machine. I opened the back um, of the vending machine and the side so it's easier to show you and explain if like both sides of the walls are open. So let's start here. This is the coin mechanism. So when you insert a coin, there's actually a hole here that's big enough just for the nickel to fall through and small enough for the quarter to not fall through. And if a quarter f goes through, then um, it doesn't, ac it actually passes right through the hole. If a nickel, penny, or dime goes through, oh, I forgot to show you the dime, but if, if you put a dime in, it's not gonna go through and it's gonna get rejected into this little bin, which connects to the area where you can receive your re um, coin back. And if it does make it through the quarter, then it goes here. This is a little container area. And here you can see that you can just pull this out and you can get your uh, money. So that's just a little compartment. And this is just a ramp that you can build into this little compartment here. So from the front, if I put in a penny, this is what happens. Sometimes it gets stuck here because it's just cardboard. It's not perfect, but most of the time it will just fall right through. And if I put in a quarter, then this will happen. It just falls right through here into this little compartment here. Um, the other side is just a wall and it's just a regular box. So when the prize falls into the button, and then you pull, push the button, it actually gets dropped down to this area, which is the prize area. So it's kind of like a mechanism. It's like a push and pull mechanism. So it just keeps on falling. And the reason why I made this kind of slanted so that the prizes would continue falling into the button area. And then every time I push the button, then the prize falls down to the prize area. The button's actually really simple. If I take these out, you can see that it's just a hole there. And when the prize falls in there, then um, it falls into the button. And the button's actually a square, so the prize actually falls in the button. And then you push the button, and then the button releases the prize into here. There's a platform, as you can see, like right there, that protects it from falling down when it falls in. And unless you push it, it doesn't actually slide off the platform over there into the prize area. So that was pretty much like the simple mechanism. It just consists of the 
um, area that contains it, the button, the prize area, and the coin mechanism. So from all four angles, this is what it looks like. It's just a side. Um, I decorated the back and I left the side open so you guys could see what it looks like. And that's it. Obviously, I can tape it back together to make it look like a re regular box. I thought this was super cool and cute to make, so definitely give it a try if you don't have your own vending machine. If you like this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and see you in the next one. Bye!